Hi, I'm so glad you stopped by to watch my video. I appreciate the gift of your time and engagement when you leave a comment for me. Would you do me one more favor and please stay tuned until the end of this video for an exciting announcement. But first, let's talk about energy. What is an even exchange of energy and why is it necessary to have an even exchange of energy in your relationships? In my last video, Top 7 Answers to Why Do You Want a Relationship, I mentioned that when two people come together to get love, rather than to learn, heal, and share love, there is a strong possibility that their relationship won't last. There is another destroyer of relationships that we need to be aware of that lurks under the surface, unknown and unseen, but we will see the effects of it. I'm talking about an unequal exchange of energy. The law of even the energy exchange tells us that mutual emotional, mental, physical, and energetic exchanges must be roughly even in some way for all parties to be satisfied enough to sustain the relationship in a healthy manner. In other words, when one person gives more energy than their partner does, it creates an imbalance that causes the kind of side effects that make life anywhere from uncomfortable to unbearable. The law of conservation of energy, also known as the first law of thermodynamics, states that the energy of a closed system must remain constant. Our universe is a closed system, so the total amount of energy in existence has always been the same. You cannot create or destroy energy, you can only exchange or transform it. What that means for relationships is that when one person gives all their time, effort, love, and energy to a relationship, and the other simply goes along for the ride, there is an unequal energy exchange, and that leads to problems. When you give as much energy as you get, you feel good about the connection because everything is in balance. The rewards that come from people connections are usually emotional, physical, spiritual, or mental. What we give in voluntary social interactions is more than our money. We give our time, our attention, our mind, our energy, and our hearts. Once upon a time, men and women had strictly defined roles. The man went out to hunt to bring home food for the family and provided protection from dangers. In return, the woman stayed home to take care of the family and made a comfortable home for the man, and the entire village supported each other in this lifestyle. This even exchange of energy kept us humans going strong for thousands of years. Now, because we no longer have the village to help and support us as couples, men and women are both working, keeping the home in good repair, and raising the children. We lose sight of what is the man's role and what is the woman's role and how our energy is distributed within the relationship. So, often, one partner ends up doing more than the other and feels shortchanged or slighted. The energy exchange can easily slip out of balance. It is difficult and unsatisfying to maintain a mutual connection without reciprocity over the long term. Imbalance in the energy exchange between a couple can result in one partner backing away, getting angry, or creating drama to change it. Just as nature abhors a vacuum, nature also will even out the energy exchange between people. A relationship cannot continue at an uneven level. Often the partner receiving more than they are giving will be the one to break the connection. The giver in the broken relationship will then experience shock and become totally overwhelmed and confused when the taker has left them wondering, what more could I have done? The answer is, don't do more, do less, and keep things even. This doesn't seem at all logical until we understand that we need an even exchange of energy to maintain balance, harmony, and happiness in a relationship. At some level, a lack of balance will cause unease and a feeling that something just doesn't feel right. 
The people involved are aware of the energetic imbalance and something has to change because these systems cannot be maintained as they are. Most people don't understand what is wrong on a conscious level though. If they were conscious of it, they would define it and do something to actively correct the problem. You can see the aftermath of these imbalanced relationships of caregiver, caregetter, when the taker has left the giver for some random, sudden, and not very logical reason. How do you know if your relationship operates with equal energy exchange? Do you feel happy and healthy and have a sense of peace and contentment about relations with others? If so, you are most likely operating in balance. An out-of-balance relationship wouldn't feel right to either person. How can you test whether you're giving or taking too much in a relationship? Here are some clear observations to determine whether boundaries have become blurred or the energetic balance is off. If you're doing too much, for instance, giving more than the relationship requires, or taking on other people's problems and trying to fix them, a good indicator is that you'll feel drained, worn out, exhausted, overworked, tired, resentful, tense, critical, dissatisfied, rejected, or unappreciated. Those feelings can indicate that you're making yourself responsible for more than is good for you or the relationship. You are not accountable for and cannot control other people's feelings or their half of the connection. That's what happens to the giver in the relationship. What happens to the taker or the one who's going along for the ride? If your partner is giving more to the relationship and you're not holding up your end, or if you're allowing someone to determine or carry your feelings and worries, you'll become resistant. You might feel or behave strained, inhibited, numb, resentful, defiant, rebellious, sarcastic, uncaring, passive, detached, reactive, or manipulated. When you recognize these feelings in yourself or your partner, rather than looking for a way out, have a conversation about the energy exchange within the relationship. If you've been giving too much and are feeling resentful, overworked and unappreciated, let her know how you feel and that you are going to make an adjustment by pulling back and giving her some space so she can invest more energy into the relationship. What that might look like is you start doing more for yourself, like going out with friends, enjoying a hobby, or finding a way to relax and unwind and trust that she will step up and take care of things during that time. If you've been the taker in the relationship and you're feeling resentful or detached, talk to your partner about allowing you the opportunity to do more so she can do less. That may mean giving her time to go out with her friends while you take on a few chores so she can relax and enjoy herself. This uneven exchange of energy can sneak up on you during any stage of dating or even after you're living together or married. As long as you're consciously aware of the signs, you can work to balance out the energy through communication and small tweaks before it causes any damage. Let me know if you've experienced an unbalanced energy in your relationship and what you did about it by leaving a comment below. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work and take a moment now to like this video with a thumbs up. Remember that exciting announcement I promised? Starting Thursday, June 7th, I'll be changing from releasing a pre-recorded video on YouTube every Thursday morning to a live presentation followed by Q&A with those who show up to participate in the live chat on Thursdays right after a Gypsy's Kiss live book club. So, be sure to subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when I go live or upload a new video and share this video with your friends. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. The Softer Side